Well, it's been a minute or two since I've done any work on this stuff, so I hope I can still remember how to do it. Uh, so, uh, selecting, we're going to work on locking objects. Selecting artwork can be challenging in Illustrator when objects are stacked one on another or when there are lots of objects in a small area. In this section, you'll learn a common way to make selecting objects easier by locking content. You'll select a bunch of lines on the postcard design so you can move them all. So the first thing you need to do is choose one postcard front from the artboard navigation menu on the lower left. So right here, mine says three right now. So we are going to click that and our computer is going to spin because it always, so postcard front, and that's what we should see. With the selection tool selected, so make sure you've got the selection tool selected, click the black shape in the background to select it. So we'll click right there. Choose object, lock, and then selection. Here's a tip for you. You could also press Command 2 if you're on a Mac or Control 2 on a Windows to lock selected content. So you can no longer select it. Locking objects prevents you from selecting and editing them. Click the very small star in the left of the arcade game to select it. So we want to choose this one right here. Press the shift key and click the other star right here. Yes, they might be a little challenging to select. When selecting an illustrator, not everything is super easy. So once you have those two selected, choose object and then lock and then selection. So those are now locked. And then starting off on the left edge of the postcard, drag across just the lines toward the bottom of the postcard to select just them. Be careful not to select the arcade machine. If you select more than the lines, choose select, deselect, and try again. So I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go down like this, and select, and hopefully I'll just get the lines. And then we're going to drag the lines down so the bottom line is at the top of the postcard. Be careful to drag the lines you need to drag by one of the lines, not between the lines. Okay. Oh, I got them. I'm going to put it right there. And I have mine over. I don't know if it matters. But there. Okay. If you find you want to edit something that's locked, you can easily unlock it later. In this case, the black shape in the background needs to have a different color fill to look better. To do that, you first need to unlock it. So I'm going to click away from that to deselect what I've done. So let's choose Object, Unlock All, and that unlocks everything in the document. Choose Select, Deselect, now nothing is selected. Select the black shape in the background again. To change the color of the shape, click the fill color box to the left of the word fill in the properties panel. So right there, it's black right now. And select a new color. Uh, you can select whatever color you wish. I'm going to just select. Hmm. <coughs> I like that one. Choose whatever color you wish that you think looks good. And then we're going to choose Object and Lock Selection. And now our background is locked again. So using, we're going to now select similar objects. Using the Select Same command, you can select artwork based on similar fill color, stroke color, stroke weight, and more. This can make selecting objects with a similar appearance easy. Now you'll select several objects with the same fill and stroke apply. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm getting choked up here. Hold on. <coughs> okay. Got done with my coffee. All right. Choose three pieces from the artboard navigation menu. So we're going to click down here. 
John does not like to go there and click. So click three pieces, and that's what you're going to have. With the selection tool, so make sure you have the selection tool, click to select one of the white squares to the right of the orange character at the bottom of the artboard. Choose select, same, and then fill and stroke. All the shapes with the same fill color and stroke weight and color are now selected. You see that they're now all selected. You can also save a selection if you know that you need to reselect a series of objects again. Save selections are a quick way to make the same selection later. Selections you save are saved only with this document. You'll save this current selection next. With the shape still selected, choose select save selection name the selection dots d o t s and click ok now that you've saved it you'll be able to choose this selection quickly and easily from the bottom of the select menu when you need it choose select deselect and then we're going to uh, let's click file and then save just so we know that we won't lose anything that we've done. We're now going to work on hiding objects. Another way to focus on specific content and make selections easier is to temporarily hide content. To select the arcade game more easily, you'll hide the stars. Choose the postcard front. So, postcard front. We we'll go back to our postcard front. Click one of the stars in the background. Choose Select, Same, and then Appearance. And that selects all of the stars in the document. Choose Object, Hide, Selection. Look at there. All your stars are gone. Woo, 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 woo. You could also press Command. 3 if you're on a Mac or control 3 on Windows to hide this content. The, hot, the stars are now hidden so you can more easily focus on other objects. We're going to now work on selecting in outline mode. By default, Adobe Illustrator displays all artwork with this attribute showing like fill and stroke, which is the border. However, you can view artwork in outline mode to display artwork so that attributes like fill and stroke are temporarily removed and only outlines or paths are visible. Outline mode can be useful if you want to more easily select objects within a series of stacked objects. Now you use outline mode to select a series of letters. So we're going to choose view and then outline. Ooh. That view that views artwork is outlines with the selection tool. Drag across the company arcade night text. Like so. Press the up arrow several times to move the text up a little bit. Over here in the properties panel, click group. And that's going to group the text shapes together. You'll learn more about groups in a few sections. Choose View, Preview, or GPU Preview to see the painted artwork. Look at there. So this would be a great time to do... Come on. Come on, computer. Select, deselect, and we're going to click File, Save. And this will end this video.